hello hello everybody um i hope you are all doing well today we are actually gonna do some real time scrapbooking um i know typically a lot of you have been checking out my planner videos which i am super grateful for but um scrapbooking project life Hobonichi. Oh my gosh, what else do I do? Um, Etsy shop stuff. I do a lot of other things. Um, so while I love posting all of my planner goodness, I do occasionally like to hop on and do Project Life or scrapbooking. Um, as I struggled to get these cards out, <laughs> um, I thought it would be fun to do it kind of in real time and just chat through some of how I project life and my processes and things like that. Um, so this could get a little lengthy. I tried to um, prep as best I could so that it's not. So we'll see how long we go and then what we do. So some of the first things, and I'm gonna try to multitask. So this is gonna be fun. And I did put my phone in airplane mode so we shouldn't get interrupted. Um, these are from October of 2021 actually um and I really want to chat about some things that I'd like to see happen in 2022 as well while we do this so we're just gonna kind of get into it it'll be chatty um and just fun I really hope that this encourages you to pull out your photos and scrap alongside it'll be kind of like we're live streaming I guess as best as I can tell um, I am using these absolutely lovely alphas. I will link what they, what the name of them is. Let's see if there's like a packaging slip in there. I bet you there's not. Darn it. Um, they are from Heidi Swap. I can't, they are the six by eight size of these alphas. So she made, um, a really pretty set for honey and spice and they sold really fast. Oh my God, this is, ah, this is a lot. I'm kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but she made these gorgeous alphas for um, the Honey and Spice collection when it came out and I love them and I should have gotten them multiple times when I had the opportunity and I didn't and I regret it so so much and then these are actually almost identical to those the only difference is they don't do the distress sorry i'm going to be playing with this um so just to give you a quick look at them so they do have like different i was making sure i was in frame sorry they do have like different sizing and kind of a little bit of a different shape which normally i'm not super into I like everything to be really uniform and I like everything to be very matchy matchy. Um, ironically, it's not completely off grid. These cards are all from Heidi Swap September Skies. So I'm not completely off grid there. Um, so we have that going for us. But um, I don't know how I'm going to if I want to use uppercase, lowercase, a little bit of both. I think I'm just going to have to play with it and see what I feel. I like that it's up, down. Okay, we're going to do this one. Oh, where did that other little L run off to? Oh, Jesus. I've literally just opened the pack and I've lost a letter. For the love. There it is. A little bugger. Okay. So... What I was trying to say, oh, and it comes with a sleeve, fun fact. So you can like slip your whole thing back in there, which is great. Um, but I just got those in the mail and I wanted to play with them. Um, the whole fun of this particular set is that you do have the kind of like uppercase, lowercase. They're all uppercase letters, let's clarify. But some are small, some are larger, um, and it just makes it a little bit more grungy, I guess. That being said, the Honey and Spice collection letters, she finally redid and she put in the shop. And of course they're more expensive now. Um, <laughs> but 
she they have like a grungy texture to them but I started looking and these are the literal exact same font um but they just don't have that like grunge like that pre-grunged look to them and I thought well heck <laughs> why don't I just buy these and then I can grunge them myself if I want them that way um that's easy you just ink and then take like a little paper towel and or something and kind of grunge them up a bit so I thought okay let's give this a shot this sounds like a much better idea so I am going to use them for this kit that I've got going on so just to talk a little bit about the photos and I actually need to set some sticker things down first these photos sorry I walked away a little bit um these photos are from a girl's trip that I took with my friend Taylor and we um we started out as Instagram friends. I really need to multitask here, people, for the sake of everyone's general sanity. We're already six minutes in and I've done absolutely not a damn thing but rant. Fabulous. Um, <laughs> I don't want to place the sticker. Is it the sticker? Nope, it's a die cut. Shut the front door. Um, for anything important. So this is Magic Kingdom, that's the airport. Where it, that's universal. Let's see. I don't want to cover up Orlando either. Maybe do that there. Will that cover it up? That definitely will. Maybe do. I kind of wanted to offset it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not leaning on this too much either. Okay. There might have to be some compromises in this. Okay, maybe there. I overthink the heck out of this stuff. I really do. And that is the downfall of my universe. Um, see if this works. I'm a little intrigued about this paper. It's a, um, um, it's cut out from a map. Okay. So just showing this really quick. So see if I stamp like that and I don't stamp like super clean it already. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but it makes it kind of splotchy. Like it doesn't give it a clear imprint, um, on the onset. And usually the first couple times that you stamp, with a stamp set, you don't always get like the cleanest images anyway. So I really do think this is gonna work so well for what I was thinking. Um, it's funny, I bought them because I saw this chick on Instagram and I'll link her. Well, here we go again with my um, promises to link everybody in the whole planet and then I forget. Um, but I'll try to remember. I think it's Leilani Scraps. I love the fact that she sounds Southern. I need to look up where she's from. But I started following her on YouTube as well. Because she does, oh man, um, real-time struggles. Let's see what we can get out of this. And hope for a little bit better. probably should have primed them too. Um, but Leilani Scraps does a lot of Disney photos as well. Um, and she's kind of got a similar style that I like. Oh, that worked out so good. Yes. Yes. Winning. Um, I think my stuff is over here. Um, another thing that I do want to talk about, I am, okay, let's finish one ranty thought at a time, shall we? One thing I didn't think about is how was I going to clean my stamps if I was on camera. So I might have to like do that in like bits and pieces because I do need some of those um, in a sec. I think I've done that. I think I've done videos like that before. 
Um, it's rare that I do anything like this in real time because it is super time consuming. You're probably gonna hear my voice fade in and out <laughs> um, because I'll be walking over to my coffee table to grab something or what have you. Um, so I'm gonna try to finish one thought at a time. Let's try that and wrap up some things. Um, thing number one. So these photos are from my trip with Taylor and Taylor and I met on YouTube probably in 2014 maybe 15, so 14, 15, um, and she was one of the few people, I, it might've been, it had to have been 14, at least. So 2014 minimum, 2014-ish um, is when I met her, and she was one of the few people out there doing Project Life that, I, that was more of my style. It was like the, it wasn't the just card placement, style that a lot of people were doing it was like this it was the embellishment side which I thought was really fun because I already loved the scrapbook um and I was I thought project life was like the coolest thing ever um I have a, the card collection to prove it it's absurd how many cards I have it's just staggering um but I found her and I thought she was just the coolest thing in the whole world she still is <laughs> um but I wanted, um, she also started smashbooking and I was a smashbooker. Um, I blame my mother. She bought me my first one and it was funny because she bought it and she was like, isn't this kind of what you already do? And it made what I already did prettier. So back then I would take like the notebooks that like the sketchbooks that you could get at Barnes and Noble. And I don't even know if you still can. I can't even tell you the last time I was in a Barnes and Noble to be honest. But, um, used to go get them and I kind of wrote everything in there. So this is like bullet journaling and smash booking had a baby, uh, is what I was doing back then. And I thought, you know, okay, cool. Let's get smash booking a try. But smash booking really wasn't a big deal yet. And so she was one of the only folks out there for me to watch. And I freaking fell in love with it all. And then we just kind of kept chatting away and over the years you know her her hobbies have kind of mirrored mine and you know we've just kind of always kept on the same track more or less is the story and then we kept saying that we were going to try to meet up over and over and over again and it just never really would come to fruition something would happen it just didn't work out um COVID, you name it, we kind of confronted it. So we finally got our chance to take a trip together and this was it. And every year I go on a trip to Orlando. I am a huge Halloween Horror Nights fan. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically an event that is held in Universal every year, minus COVID. Um, and it's been going on for 2020. One was 30 years, um, and it was extra special to me because I turned 30 in 2021. So I say 2021, like I'm not posting that, posting this year, this layout this year. Um, I'm just trying to give context, I guess, and someone watches it in 2022 or in a future sense, in any way. Um, but I'm a huge fan of the event, obviously. Uh, this was my seventh trip, seventh, I think. 7.30. Hmm? Hard to say. Um, I've been going since 2015. Why are you not standing for me? I don't like it. Why are you doing this? Sorry. Um, I think what inspired me to do this is I've been re-watching people's live streams. Oh, yes. Winning. Um, I've been rewatching people's live streams, so I'm really not caring about like the chatty and the in-between. Um, plus I really do feel like during the holidays, you're like, oh, here we go on my tangents again. Um, <laughs> I feel like during this time of year, you're kind of like home and it's like having your friend scrapbook with you next to you, whatever. And it's more like low key. I love a good sped up video. Don't get me wrong. So it is what it is. <laughs> um, 
I love that. And I may add more to that, but for right now, I know I need to round these corners before I forget because I will forget. Um, uh, so yes, this is the start of that trip. Oh man, no. Sometimes this, I need to get a new one. But this, yeah, these really are real time struggles. So it's not full, it's just being a pain in the butt. Cool. Um, hopefully that is the last of that. Um, so these are the photos of the trip that I got to finally take with Taylor. This is actually day one, this is our travel day, and it's October 1st. That being said, I started thinking what a cool idea it would be to go back, not go back, um, start some type of daily documenting beyond my Hobonichi. I love my Hobonichi. It's very perfect in the fact that it's, you know, a little time capsule of the day. My planner is also becoming kind of plans as well as notes. Um, so I've kind of merged that style a little bit. Essentially, I want to, I, I'm so far behind in project life that I'm actually scrapbooking or project lifing things from 2015, which is about the 2015 January is when I started project life. So this is also turning into let's get to know Rebecca type of video, clearly. Um, but yeah, just chatty because I've got some new people on and I just want to make sure that you guys know I do more than just planners. This is annoying. I really need to just buy two, I think, at this point because please don't try this at home. Here we go. This is so dangerous. Um, this poor guy has taken a beating. I think this is the second corner rounder from Becky Higgins I've gone through. Uh, like I said, I think I, good Lord. I think I just need to buy a secondary one because I don't know why it doesn't want to round my corners out properly. I think part of me thinks it's the photo paper that it doesn't like. This is dangerous. I did put that through my leg one time. Uh, so be careful. Yay. We'll have a little bit of success for a little bit and then I'll give it a break. Um, most of the, either that or I'll save it to the end. I try not to do that because I am a want to put chunky embellishments like towards the edges and then forget about my corner rounding and then it becomes a really fun game of let's pull up all of the crap and then have to uh, corner round and then put it all back on. So pausing. <laughs> so this is October 1st and I had the idea of let's document in more real time. And the reason I like that is because going back in scrapbooking 2015 my memory is stupid crazy i have a very photographic memory it, it i don't a lot of it i think is just me because i can remember things long before i scrapbooked or journaled or anything but part of me thinks that it got it went up a level whenever i started scrapbooking and memory keeping because i was intentional about trying to remember certain little things but it is very difficult to go back and um, document memories that happened so long ago at this point and i was in a different mindset i was i had a different you know i had a different everything and I've also been listening a lot to um, scrapbooking podcasts about going back and documenting. And I've also been watching lots or watching, listening to lots of podcasts just about memory keeping. And I really just wanted to be more intentional about not just memory keeping in real time, but taking the time to memory keep. I think one of my biggest regrets and lessons of the last probably two years or so are realizing that doing this keeps me sane. Not that Hobo Nietzsche isn't great and didn't, but I always felt, I gotta get the cat off the camera. I 
can't let her walk through the frame today. Sorry, guys. Um, because she will mess this whole thing up. Um, one thing that I've learned is that, yes, doing art, painting, um, I've done lots of, like, art journal -y stuff. Oh, I gotta chill out before I hulkify my photo. Um, this is gonna get annoying very quick. So we might do those at the end, and I'll just try to be conscious of not doing anything crazy um, on those photos. So I wanted to be able to document in more real time and I wanted to respect my craft time. My Hobo Nishi is great, but I don't do a lot of art in it right now. That's not that it can't change and that I don't want to, but I'm st this always like somehow preoccupies my mind because I'm so far behind. And I do love it so much. And I do, like everybody else, love to look at all the new supplies and purchase them. And wow, that's so wonderful. Um, it's no good if you're not using the supplies that you're purchasing. I swear to God, it's the coating on these cards. Let's see if flipping that makes any difference. Shut the front door. Solved. Okay, so <laughs> it's the coating on the top part of the card. That's my arch nemesis today. Cool. Well, now that we've solved that, we can just blaze through that. Wow, that's a huge difference. So fun facts for those people out there with your little corner rounder. Um, wow, we're a whole different game now. Um, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and start October 1st with this kind of daily documenting idea or I guess more project life style. So the styles of project life that are out there are the people that do it by the week. I've seen that there are people that do it almost like a daily page. I don't know that I've ever seen somebody do it daily page style. Um, I might be, I'm sure there are people out there. There's no way I'm like the only that would be insane. Um, I love that. Um, but I thought, okay, well, if day one of the trip is October 1st, I knew I would take pictures every day. I thought, okay, if you can just kind of get in the habit of taking, you know, knowing that you're taking your pictures every day, but then coming home and continuing that trend. And I did. Not only did I do that, I used the Project Life app to kind of help me out in the first couple stages of it. So I came home and... I just picked like the design A. So in the app, like your design A is free and I think you're given like free kits and then you can purchase ones. I am victim to both. Like I have my free kits, um, but I've also purchased several for reasons that I don't quite understand. <laughs> I think some of them are because they're older like Studio Calico kits that I had physically and still have, and I really love them. And so I hoard them. So the fact that I know there's a digital copy of that card somewhere to play with if I ever want to, it brings me some kind of peace and I can use the physical one. Um, my Fitbit's yelling at me. Um, so I knew if I came home and I kept slotting them in there, Let's also see how long I've been raining. 20 minutes and one card done-ish and some corners rounded. We're doing fabulous. Um, so <laughs> I knew if I could come home and keep up with it from a both digital and physical perspective that I would slowly kind of put myself through the paces and be ready by January 2022. So that's my plan. Um, I'm going to pause this very quickly and then come back. Be, well, it won't pause for you. It'll keep going. But I'm going to have to pause it because I have to go dig the cat out of my duvet cover that she has crawled into the actual cover because I don't have the buttons. So please hold for a brief interruption. I wish I had some good hold music. Okay, we're back again. Nothing changed for you. <laughs> but it just changed for me. I went ahead and like cleaned off some stamps as well. Dug the cat out. I hope she'll just like burrow into the blankets or something, but she's just kind of running amok. Being chaotic. Oh my god, she's running around like a lunatic. It's just part of it. God. Life with a cat. If you're a cat mom or even a dog mom, because I know dogs are crazy um, too. I love puppers as well. Um, I do not have one, but 
Anywho, um, so yes, daily documenting. So step two of this idea. So <laughs> I feel like as a crafter, you like have this idea and sometimes we don't always think of like the whole follow through and we're just like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to start filming and yay me, thanks. Oh Lord, the cat fucked her marbles. Um, so had this great idea and then I thought, all right, well, how am I going to do it? And so I knew I'd have a ton of vacation photos that I take. So that was golden. That was a good starting spot. And I love October again, great starting spot. And I knew I could get that going. So came home and I started using the app to, um, place photos and into pockets. So I would know how to print them, which I had done that technique in the past. And as I was like getting more caught up in my scrapbooking, I was noticing that's not always the best idea. About this time I heard or watched an Inky, I might've been watching the Inky Quill live stream uh, playback. And she said that she always prints her photos for the most part in three by four. I think is what she said. I don't know. I think that's where the idea originated from. So I, I thought, well, that's a great idea. Um, and three by four worked because I knew I wanted to use like design a, I, okay. So think about the orientation of what you take your photo in. So before you like start this journey too, and that's something fun to see, like you're not, um, when you start using the digital app too, because you start figuring out, oh, that looks weird in the three by four card slot before you like go through all the trouble of printing and placing and then catch yourself in, in a pickle. So started using the design A structure because I thought I'll still want a title card of some type. I can always use a four by six slot for two three by fours. I knew that, which I do in several places. Um, Cause I knew I could always like back it with a white card or a something. I could always figure it out and make it work. So three by four, everything started to get printed in three by four. So I printed all the vacation photos in three by four. By the time I did that, by the time I printed and placed them physically, I was, I was kind of noticing a groove. So then, and it was also in that process that I figured out what days I tended to do that on. And I thought, okay, you know, again, I'm finding that, that next, it was a lot of like baby steps, which I really enjoyed. Um, and can't stress enough how like beneficial that was. Um, what is she doing? She's burrowing underneath it properly now and hopefully she'll kind of calm down once she gets herself a little nest going and she'll, she'll want to spend some kind of, it's very cold here so I don't blame her for wanting to burrow. I just need her to like burrow in a place that isn't detrimental to everyone um or destructive to my bedding so i'm keeping an eye on her off to the corner with my eyeballs I'm not sure about this little placement situation i've got going either oh there's some wonkiness to be had um so step one was deciding i wanted to do more current daily pages step two was finding the consistencies point so okay i started december 1st knew i take a lot of photos moving on so step three became continuation which i had to like be cognizant of when i came home i was really lucky to obviously be vacationing with someone who understands um the constant photo taking that happens I don't want to place it there and I kind of want to place it here. This is why I hate doing this and not on the live stream sometimes because I can put it to a vote. We'll see. Um, <laughs> so consistency coming home and my boyfriend's used to me taking photos but I don't think he was exactly prepared for that I was going to go like 
full tilt the way that I was. So I had kind of like shared with him the idea before I left so that he kind of could emotionally prepare for the photos. Um, barrage that would go down. Oh, that stamped so good. Yay! Vivo is the name of this restaurant. I didn't just like ran. I didn't get that far yet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Consistency, warning everybody, planning. Yay! Came home, started using the digital app. I feel like I'm being redundant, but I'm also trying to be really clear. And I'll maybe I'll put it down in the description, like what I mean. Um, or if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in there. Um, so consistency with the app help, helped a lot because I started learning that, you know, design A would not only work for me, but it gave me a lot of flexibility. Um, that being said, I have done a lot that weren't design A. We can get to that when we get to that. My vision for this is that I'm going to film this in like, a chatty way and then I'm gonna do the back side in a sped up way and then kind of alternate so I may kind of see what you guys like and see what works for me the best uh, but alternate like a chatty and a fast a chatty and a fast and get caught up that way another thing that I really want to do in 2022 is actually do this on live streams as well both with YouTube and with Instagram, I think, and I hate this because I know some people have said that they get their content mainly here, but unfortunately until I hit the limits that YouTube has set, I can't live stream easily from here because, or from YouTube. I can't live stream easily from YouTube because it, it, you have to hit like a certain thing on your phone it's so to do it from your phone which I think is just the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life like why would you be able to do it from a computer but not from your phone That's silly but I don't make the rules um so that's how I'm envisioning that so I guess step whatever the heck we're on is just starting it really is like just freaking start and be okay with that things are going to be clunky. Another quick tip that I do want to share is that um, being so far behind is kind of the best thing ever because it gives me um, room to scrapbook something that, not that it's not important, every photo we take is important, every spread that we have to do, that we want to share with ourselves is important. All of that is valued. Um, what I'm saying is it's very nice that I have some 2015 spreads, but I can kind of just like, I know what happened, but I'm not as like immersed in the experience as I am something like this where it's very current in my mind. It means so much to me. And we'll get into the meaning of the whole trip throughout these videos, I'm sure. Um, and just what the trip meant to me, but um, just it's not, a, it's okay that I can have photos that aren't very current to play with. So the, for example, I woke up this morning and I went ahead and did like a 2015 spread just to kind of like, it's, it's like how you have a warm up cool down process. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, that was literally it. It was the fact that it was a good warm up for me. And that was incredibly valuable to just kind of have a little bit of room to, to play this morning. And so I watched a movie and just chilled out a little bit. And I wasn't so harsh about you know, photo placement, or I wasn't really harsh with myself on, um, oh, this has, this is going to be filmed. So I need to really have my, my A game going. Cause I do feel like that's something that people don't talk about really in the social media side of this is like, it is very easy to get caught up and scared to do layouts because you, or film your layouts because you know someone could critique them, you know someone could criticize, like right now, uh, someone could criticize the fact that I take too long or I'm being too chatty, but it's like, I kind of try to set you up for that. Like, 
this is kind of um, what I wanted the video to be like, but that's not everybody's cup of tea. I need to go get the rest of my damn enamel dots. Um, yeah, I need to go get my enamel dots. They're all on the couch spread out from before. Um, these are from a citrus twist kit. These are from Flourish. I dug them out from this little guy. Um, so some other fun things to think about. So I have taken to Wednesdays and Fridays are my day to kind of like study, scrap, clean, like they're my days at home, but it, it's more of me making my own schedule. So what I have done is, um, lost my whole train of thought. So I actually have a box that I put a bunch of embellishments in, but back up a little bit. So I printed the photos. Then I started <laughs> at night to kind of wind down because work is really crazy. So at night I started coming home and instead of scrapbooking, because I didn't always have the energy to do like a whole spread, I started placing cards or picking color schemes. So once the photos got printed, I started doing like this kind of stuff where I placed the photos with, you know, uh, their papers or papers that I might like them to be with. Um, to kind of take some of the guesswork out so that I wasn't exhausted by the time I picked paper that I really didn't want to do anything fun. So <laughs> I thought, okay, this is great. And it still got my hands moving with the product and it was fun. Um, and then I started using like off days or things like that to get, oh, I really like that there. That's definitely not what I had planned for that little piece, but that's okay. I'm trying not to use my rule of three in my brain. Um, This is what happens in real time for real. Except for usually there's like in the background there's like a movie going. I do like this already. Um, thoughts, words. Wow, this is not going to plan at all. Um, <laughs> so I started placing cards at night because that's just, it, it was like a good activity to like wind down and I thought that was kind of nice. And then um, I would use, if I had time and I knew that I could get two spreads done, cause that was the trick. I knew that I needed enough time to be able to do two spreads. That was the big kicker. Um, why are there no little stars in this entire, like why are they all, Gargantuan. I don't understand. Oh, well, that's that's supposed to be helpful. Mm, I don't know that I love that. I think this might need to live there. That can live there. Nope. That was where it lived. Um. That's where that lives. That needs a star. Um, I don't want to use that yellow because I used it up there. Nope, 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 nope. I'm a matchy matchy ho. Let's see what looks good. Do. I feel like the peaches and the pink are too. Oh, let's do this. This is like the inverted version. Okay. Um, did card placement at night because it brought me joy. Blah. That's that's where we were. Um, I overthink this way too much. Like I want so badly to be like of the inky quill like stamp and plonk, or the stick and plonk style, but I will overthink this until the cows come home. 
and I have analysis paralysis, something hella fierce. The cat is crawling all over anything that crinkles, which is like all my enamel dots and everything, but I think she is gonna burrow, which is what I need her to do. So burrow away, little one. Um, which sounds weird to be like, I need the cat to burrow. I need it to just burrow in an appropriate place is what I need. Um, but she's on the couch, so I'll be able to see if she crawls out when she crawls out. Um, which is also very helpful to this process. Um, so I started doing card placement at night so that whenever it was time for me to do a layout, that pink work was out. So the first thing I did was I picked the cards and then I was like, okay, what embellishments would I want with this? And I just started grabbing everything um, and putting them in this box. And then I organized the box out so that this would be faster. And it was, it was like different stages of prep in small bite-sized chunks so that a layout didn't take me 500 years to do, but it also didn't make me like crazy cranky to prepare and actually like it's like all the messy work was done ahead I say messy all of the crazy prep work was basically done when it was time to scrap and I would be able to have layouts prepared um to make things go a little bit faster so this morning my layout wasn't prepped so it actually took me like two hours and I was watching a movie so I was really distracted and then it had gotten my blood pumping. So I kind of like cleaned up a little bit and then I decided to pull this out and do this with you guys. And I guarantee it will take me probably two hours because I am being chatty. Um, another thing that I did was I took notes. I kind of, again, this is, these are all very small things that you can do while you have a glass of wine at night and you don't have to pull out your whole stash. And I think that's really why I wanted to chat through this because it was how I kind of found, found my way back to scrapbooking. Um, so I'm going to, um, okay, I'm going to write all this. So it's going to take me just a second. Thank you for bearing with me through that lovely chatty inter <laughs> and non-chatty interlude. Um, I don't know.
I'll go ahead and do the journaling for this since we're going through like quiet spells and we can't just see like stick and plonk kind of thing. Um, here, I'm gonna do it like this. I need to get my water off the other side of here. Um, okay, so I went ahead and just did like some journaling so that you didn't have to listen to me be like super quiet for no reason. Um, so I did my journaling about just kind of the list. So things I had to do that day, things that kind of, this was like one day. <laughs> this was the, like the first day in its fullest. Um, travel, both of us traveling and then, um, going to dinner that night. That was the plan. Um, Taylor had put so much trust in me with the trip. Um, and it was so important for me if, that she felt comfortable and welcomed. Um, that's literally what that says. And it's, it's truly what I felt and a huge reason why I really want to get these photos documented sooner rather than later so that I can still, not that I don't feel the feelings that I do about the 2015 or 16 or 17 photos or 18, so on and so forth. But while it was just more present in me. I really just wanted that, um, that there for me. So yeah. So this is from a citrus. No, that's from Mr. old studio calico kit. I really want to use this. It's her, um, she's little creative life. So if you want to follow her on anything, that's kind of how to find her. Um, but I really want to put this somewhere and I don't know that's not good. Maybe here. I just want to put her sticker on here somewhere. And I don't want to cover up the plane. And that's a lot of pink. This might give like my eye somewhere to rest. So we're going to put it here. Again, I definitely have paralysis analysis or analysis paralysis of analysis. That's what it is. Um, I'm trying to think if I have like adequately described everything now at this point. If you have any questions about this very odd process that I started, but I definitely think that listening to all those podcasts really encouraged me to like scrapbook my way and think about the influences on me. So be that, you know, Taylor or oh, works. Yes. Um, Taylor is obviously a huge influence on me, and I think that she, along with like, that's cute. Can I do that? I'll probably use a bunch of these. Beauty, that doesn't work there. Not fun. That's got a puffy. This is really funny, this particular photo. So you know that you are on vacation with a fellow crafter that does the same crap as you when you both pull out your Hobonichi pens in the exact same year. We thought that was like, <laughs> that was that moment where it was like, oh yeah, we're on vacation with the right person. 100% on vacation with the right person. Um, <laughs> and it was funny and she wasn't feeling super great at dinner. I think the travel had really just like, taking it out of her and I was really tired too so we were just really trying to get the heck back to the hotel and like get settled in for the night I think oh I could do that there that's I mean I feel like that's really self-centered of me to throw that on there but um I wish I had I like the beauty of that there. That's how, I was like, that's so self-centered. <laughs> like, I can be as self-centered as I want, don't get me wrong. But, that is just not what I want to do there. Um, I can do the beauty here, the love. Nope, nope. I'm struggling. <laughs> no, beauty is in pasta though. I will say that much here. We're going to set it back on here until I do the journaling. I loved that.
Why? Why are we like this? I say we. I. Needs to go right there in the middle. And he needs. Oh, should I do? I don't know that that's gonna. And that's too matchy matchy for my taste. Nope, won't show up. Oh, the lines with that are kind of cool. Yeah, I can't have it in that row. Like, my brain won't let me do it. It's just absolutely freaking ridiculous that my brain is like that, but they are where we are. That's perfect. If anything, I'll add another little heart something to kind of offset that a bit so that we have some more. Um, wasn't there like a love? No, there's a this. Oh, there is a love. I'm special. <laughs> Let's try to make this work, shall we? Love, love. And, oh wow, because that photo was like off-centered, my eyes completely went nuts. I wish that Citrus Twist would like stock these stickers better because I freaking adore them. Oh, did my bun just move the camera? Sorry. I've got like the messiest messy bun rocking right now. Okay, this is what we're going to do because my eyes cannot handle this anymore. Okay, perfect. Yay. Joy. Um, I really did want to put this hello on here because it was obviously, it made sense. No, love, love. Should I just like not have this here? I don't have to put something on every damn photo. I really don't. Oh, I do think the hello needs to go here. And I'll probably pick that up and do some journaling. Um, that being said, I do keep like a pretty decent stash of um, box stickers off to the side so that I can kind of like pull them fast. So we'll try using these. Um, and another thing that I made sure to do when I pulled everything for the stash was to like pull new and old. So a lot of my citrus twist stuff is still only like about a year old to me. Um, so I thought that was kind of nice. I don't know that I want pink. There's already so much paint. And my tummy is growling. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And I do like the circles. Because I can do... I don't want to cover up the airplane. That's hilarious. I'm like resisting. something to journal on. I'm like finding everything that I don't need, but I'm gonna place on here anyway. I don't, I didn't even like, I just plonked that on there. I didn't even check. I think I did kind of center it with the wall gun. That's the point. Um, I don't want 
anything with gold on it. I love how I went from like obnoxiously chatty to super quiet mode. Craft paper -y. I had these stickers up here that I knew would go. With the bright, like all the themes. So I kept them up on my organizer. That's funny, I like that there. It was more of like a use it up stash, kind of off to the top of it. <laughs> that's funny. I don't even know if that's center and I don't like that. I don't have to have it like, super psycho I guess I do maybe I do have to have it super psycho ah is my hair in there I'm sorry I do like things very even I like things very um I just do I don't know this one's not either I'm just like plonking stuff down that photo is really making my eyes go crazy. It's wild. I try to like look more at the bottom line than like the photo itself. Um, so that's like a little tip there. Don't like look at the photo head on necessarily. Like look at the bottom or the top, whatever you're kind of aligning that sticker to and then come down like you would with like a ruler per se. So we've got that going, I like the pink there. Do I have any more fun? We're gonna use all the damn hearts on this sticker sheet before the end of it, I can see it. Um, where's my pen? So we both like, We're obsessed about the rainbows. Definitely. The and you're like, oh, why did I write it upside down? I'll show you. <laughs> so I can chop off the rest of it. I could have like made the whole thing, I guess, but I knew I didn't want all that on there. Again, this is lining it up to the bottom. How off camera am I? I don't even know. And I usually do try to like leave a little bit of room. 
underneath both lines. So like down the middle of that is what I'm shooting for. And I'd say I was pretty successful. Probably not flawless, but if somebody's that close to your scrapbooking, we got bigger problems. So. Um, this is one of those layouts. I actually don't have like an accent metallic. A lot of times I will use an accent metallic. Um, I hate that this is not in a color. That's making, that's what's making this is difficult. Like I wish it was like a blue. Something. I can actually make this work. There. Somewhere. I just gotta move the bow guy around a little bit. Okay, so. Hello. Love, 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 love that. I'm definitely not chopping that until I know because <laughs> I'll probably change it again. Okay, hello, makes sense because we're all there. I wonder what's going on down here. Does that look weird here? Maybe it might be easier if I can. There's like a weird smudge on this card that I think I'm trying to cover up too with that. And I'll do this. Let's see if I like that better. It's not that these stickers aren't sticky, it's that I actually have really like good nails to like yank up stuff underneath. I might chop that off. Can I chop that? Do I want to chop that is the question. All right, we're gonna leave that alone for a minute because that's making me grab it. This is another thing I love about clear sticker sheets is that you can kind of play like this with them. Oh, perfect. We're gonna use that guy. Because we've got a whole black and white thing going in. And then we'll do we'll use all the puffy things, I think. That might be too much puffy things. Full disclosure. I don't need them on everything. Hmm. I re really do try to keep a balance. I try to, like I said, keep the rule of three. So you like want to see like your eyes move a little bit. And this isn't exactly rule of three. So I don't know why that was just my inspiration for that. To say that anyway. Oh, my whole brain just hurts now. Um, This is like literally why I say it's so important like for me to do like one to get my mind running. And if I wasn't being chatty, this probably wouldn't be so long. I can't, I don't have an accurate time anymore because I stopped it. 
I really want to put the beauty there because it was a really pretty picture, but it's like, that is incredibly self-centered in my humble opinion. <laughs> Anybody else is caring. Um, okay, so yeah, here's the rule of three things. So start here, start here, start here to let my eyeballs flow. And then I've got hearts, hearts, I've got some hearts here. This is like a little three cluster. I feel the need to like throw stuff all over that. Maybe we can just do a heart that works with that. It would have been that one kind of thing. I don't want it to get lost. And I feel like that's a sentiment. It just needs like a little, we're just gonna have to use all the hearts, I guess. This is also why I tend to film them because instead of doing it in real time, I know what we can use. Y'all, I swear, I'm gonna take a picture of the cat and post it with this video because this is she is like way hunkered down over there, which is. Hilarious and really cute all at one time. Okay, we'll do some enamel dots just to throw that around. Because why not? I can do And I'm overly matchy-matchy. I don't know if y'all are picking up on that, but I'm definitely crazy about the matching. So I think that's where I'm struggling is like trying to find what works for this little spread. Should I do a star maybe? No. It's like none of my embellishments match that. It's just wild. But it's like the rainbow here, the rainbow here, and the pink everywhere that's like making me struggle and I don't want to put I don't want to put another sentiment on there. I really just kind of want to enjoy like something puffy and that works with that I wonder oh okay now we're getting somewhere so if I put or no I just said I don't want to put another sentiment on here but I want something puffy here this is starting to take a toll on my nails here people not gonna lie okay there we go set that there and then What I need some like flat parts. Do I have flat parts in anything that I own? Probably not. This is my Heidi Swap sticker book, so maybe there will be something here that fits the bill. I just said I didn't want to bring in like a gold or anything. No, we're not doing that. Cool. So what I mean is I don't want to, if I bring in a gold, then I feel the need to like go back and put all that in. Okay. 
there we are. need hearts. I just want regular hearts. <laughs> I don't want crazy hearts. Or puppy hearts. I kind of wanted like a flat heart, if that makes sense, because I've got... That's fine. That actually... That works so much better than I thought. There we go. Now I need maybe like an aqua, or like aqua green, little boop boop. Do that. Now I'm kind of starting to flirt with that plane a little bit. Do I have a yellow? enamel dots that I use I really do like the that's so cute now that I've pulled that off yay okay now we're making progress so enamel dots that I do like are the alt new I don't really care for simple stories because they're so massive that's just not that's just too much and then the hero dots are really tiny. So by the time you do like the alt new, I don't think they sell this pack anymore, which I hate. Um, it was like a mixed pack that they did. Um, and then the hero dots, they do it by color, which is great. <laughs> I need to keep this out because it's got like underwhelmed, overwhelmed, need more sleep, check marks. So that is definitely going to come in handy. Um, I wonder if that covers up the tin. That's silly because that's like too much banner. That doesn't work. Definitely don't want to cover up her sunflowers. So she loves sunflowers and so I really wanted to make sure to pick some up for her. So again, in the effort of me wanting to make sure that she was comfortable, um, that was such a like seriously important thing to me that she really did feel at home and comfortable because she had come a really long way but also this was like her this was our first trip together and like I said I just really wanted her to enjoy herself and I really wanted um her to have a good time which I feel like obviously like you would want your vacation partner to but yeah <laughs> So now we're kind of on to the journaling and for that I really don't want to flip through that other book too too much. Um, I've got some really nice like Happy Planner colorful boxes. I have the colorful boxes and then the handwritten colorful boxes. Um, sometimes I do like little dashboarders and I thought about doing it around the heart but I really kind of like I want to play with this card a little bit more but I feel like everybody else is done for the most part, so we'll see. I do, like, I want like a little journaling here, a little bit in these as well. I try not to journal in every single darn card because that's just too much. Um, I tried their Carbonara for the first time, so that was, Kind of important to me but I do love the rest of that spread so I may not want to put anything maybe I just need a blank oh I wish this was another color I have I don't know if you can see it on screen you can't it's off screen um it's a sticker that says no way that it's black and it would fade right into that and I don't want to do that 
maybe a yellow is what I need here. And watch this pack not have any freaking yellow. But I can do this like greenish color. Do, do. I think I like that. know if that's gonna work there. Yeah, that's too too big. Okay, we're gonna keep that off to the side just in case. <laughs> and go back to the skinny one. Again, this is my little trick of flip it and then line it to the bottom. So you're not staring at it straight on, you're just staring at that part. Nope, I like all that little nonsense together. And we'll do that there. I'll take this off, take this off to the trash. I want to see what everything kind of looks like. Sorry about that. I live like right off the highway, so we get all kinds of fun sounds. Um, that's her hoodie bag. I don't know that I need to add anything, really. Yay, I'm going to climb. <laughs> on my stool. I just realized you guys can't see some of this stuff because like the way that my camera is, it just, it's not enough room. I definitely need a snack after this. Thank you guys for bearing with me. I may like catch all these together and then also do like a sped up version just because this is much uh, more long winded than I thought it was going to be. So Maybe we'll have a chatty version. That'll be cool to do. Here, a little that. A little that. Oh, that means not that. Um, let's try to, I know I had some yellow in there, so let's bring my yellow back in. Um, do to do. I do love yellow. I need to order some more enamel dots that are yellow because I I feel like I blow through my yellow enamel dots. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to cover up any of that because these are like places that we actually went to. So travel day that I was really excited to get to use that. That's cute. It's a quick little selfie to Jeffrey before it got started. Um, Talks about the rainbows, me trying to get her comfortable, her sunflowers, dinner. I don't feel like I need to, I don't even really need this. That's so funny. And I wanna pull this off. I wanna see what it looks like without it. Let's see if I like it. I'm gonna keep it up here. Cause I don't really feel like it's necessary. Wow, I'm gonna call this done. I really am, that's stupid. <laughs> but I feel like that needs a little sentiment 
or something. I might even, oh, watch me get crazy. That's way better actually. I don't need a sentiment on everything. It's cause some are busy and some are really plain. Okay, so literally we just took forever and a damn day to chat through the process and then get this here. But I'm gonna put all these in the little pockets and then we'll do like a little slow flippy thing um, and then go from there. Hello and welcome back. I've cleaned up my house and taken a shower and gotten my life a little bit better together. But here is the slow flip of this. I think I am going to upload into two different little things so that you don't have to listen to the chatty one if you don't want to. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Until next time.